Hey everybody, it's Joe from GreenLightSound.com, and today we're going to talk about a little bit of a parallel processing technique courtesy of Joe Ciccarelli, and this one specifically deals with Tom's parallel processing. Now, Joe Ciccarelli is a huge proponent of parallel processing, and this example uses two separate parallel channels with two different compressors for two different purposes. The first channel is going to be for the attack and punch of the Toms, and that's coming from our Neve 33609 on the top here. And the second parallel channel is for tone and sustain on the toms, and that's our chandler on the bottom here. The setup for this is really simple. We've got our main tom channels over here. We've got sends coming off of each of those channels to two different buses. We've got our tom punch bus, our parallel tom punch bus, and our parallel tom tone bus. The punch bus, that's got the Neve 33609. The tone's got the chandler zener limiter on it. Really easy setup. So the first thing I want to do is just hear the toms by themselves without the parallel channels engaged. Here they go. I'm going to engage the parallel tom punch channel. Let's talk about the settings in the compressor first. We could ignore this section. This is the limiter section and it's not on right now. We're looking at the compressor section right here. We've got our threshold at zero, though that can change depending on how hot the signal coming from the toms is. We've got our recovery or release time at 100 milliseconds. The gain for kind of makeup gain is just above zero. Three to one ratio, of course the compressor's in, and the attack switch is set to slow. We want to allow that transient to come through to create that attack or punch sound to it. And you're going to notice we only get a couple dB of gain reduction, not a whole lot here. So here it is with the Tom Punch channel in. So here are the two main Tom channels without the processing again. I'll add that parallel channel. I'll bring the main channels down to level match. Since that attack is being let through, we're getting a little bit more of that snap of the tom. Bring them back to full level. Here it is again. And then without the parallel channel. Back in. The tone channel is the zener limiter, of course, again. The settings on this are really simple. We've got our input set to between 7 and 8 here, right where that 0.04% sign is. Our output's just left at 0. We have it set to limit. Side chain is out. We've got a fast attack and a fast release. I'm going to take that Tom's punch channel out and just have the parallel Tom tone channel in. Let's listen to what that sounds like. Listen to the floor Tom especially for the sustain. Here are the two main channels again without the parallel tom tone channel. Bringing in the parallel channel, bringing the two main channels down to level match. And then we will bring the parallel tom punch channel back in. So now we've got both parallel channels on, both compressors working. without the parallel channels. And with the parallel channels back in. We're really not getting a whole lot of compression, but we're definitely getting some tone and some attack out of it. Now, of course, we could slam these compressors a little bit harder and get a little bit more attack, a little bit more tone and sustain out of them. But just this small amount here really adds a lot to that tom sound. So there it is. Two simple parallel channel techniques, courtesy of Joe Ciccarelli, to get your toms sounding punchy and full using two compressors, the Neve 33609 and the Chandler Limited Zener Limiter. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.